Whitehall is owned and operated by the Historic Homes Foundation. We think Whitehall was built in the mid-1850s. The original house was an eight-room, Italianate-style house. It was red brick, there were four rooms on the first floor, four rooms on the second, and that's what it looked like. Whitehall was purchased in 1909 by John and Betty Middleton, and they made dramatic changes to the house. They raised the ceilings on the first floor from 12 to 14 feet, which then in turn meant that the ceilings on the second floor went from 12 to 10 feet, and then they proceeded to move walls, doors, windows, fireplaces, the stairs, you name it, they changed it. It's such a welcoming home, and when people come in, they stop at the front door and they just take a moment to look at their surroundings, and it sometimes takes people's breath away. Mr. Logan Jr., the last private resident of Whitehall, knew that he wanted this house to be preserved and open to the public. So several years before his death, he did the research and made the arrangements to bequeath the home and his collection of antiques to the Historic Homes Foundation. Really, my favorite two parts of the mansion are the stairs and the fireplace in the central hallway. When we have weddings inside the mansion, that's where they take place, right there. And I think of the hundreds of people that have married right there. It's a very happy feeling. But there's also pictures of the families that lived here. There's a wonderful picture of the Logan family on New Year's Eve posing in front of that fireplace. And I think of that often, particularly at the holiday season when the house is decorated. Whitehall hosts multiple events throughout the year and the one that's coming up next is our Victorian Christmas tea. We can accommodate up to 130 guests and it's open to everyone and we serve savory tea sandwiches, delicious desserts, English tea, all served in a proper formal setting with china and linens and the house is beautifully decorated for the holiday season with dried flowers from our gardens. Mr. Logan did design his interpretation of a formal Florentine garden, but even within that garden, the trees and the other plants that are there are the result of work that was done in recent years. My job is to coordinate the landscape at Whitehall House and Gardens. Um, when I came here 20 years ago, it was overrun with invasive plants, and I thought we would not in my lifetime ever get rid of them. So. We have done that and gone beyond. I'm kind of surprised how, how much we've accomplished in 20 years. If there were formal gardens that Hume Logan designed and were here when I got here, the outlines of the bones of the garden, we've taken those and actually filled in a lot of the spaces and made uh, more beautiful gardens. Uh, we developed a, a, a perennial garden in the far back where there used to be a vegetable garden, but it had been horribly overgrown. It was impassable. We created a, a woodland garden that largely was a result of a volunteer named Ralph Archer who came here and began planting ferns of all sorts until eventually we had 150 varieties of ferns. And uh, to begin with, we had a lot of trees that were down in that area that were hidden with the formation of the fern garden, the woodland garden. We created what we call a stumpery. We actually used those stumps as backdrops. So that is a new, a new garden since uh, we, we began here 20 years ago. I'm addicted to Whitehall. I come here every day. I live about five or 10 minutes away. Uh, I love coming here. I love coming, seeing the seasons change. I love seeing the gardens develop. I love seeing some of these trees that I planted 20 years old, uh, ago starting to show what they can do. Really, I'm planting for 100 years. Uh, trees can live for hundreds of years. And in a state like this, should have trees that are two, three hundred years old that are still healthy. It's open most of the time, so people can come and wander any of the gardens um, as long as we don't have a private event scheduled. But we also have a couple of scheduled events. We have a peony fest every year. It's a two-tiered um, event. There's viewing the peonies and there's purchasing peonies. And that's a fun event. It's kind of wild. People. People rush together to get these peonies and they're gone in 15 minutes. It's a pretty incredible sight. 
We want to spread the success of Whitehall's landscape to the neighborhood. We're helping um, Lexington Road Preservation Area plant spectacular trees on Lexington Road. And we are, um, uh, we've, we've done five other projects with neighborhoods around us where we help improve their appearance, their, their entrances. Um, and we're doing this as a public service, but also because we want Whitehall and this neighborhood to be known as a garden district. Whitehall preserves a piece of Louisville's past. If Mr. Logan had not had the foresight to bequeath this home to the Historic Homes Foundation, while we can't say for certain, it's likely this land would have been subdivided. It would have become homes or condominiums or apartments. And instead, this urban oasis has been preserved for our community to take a little peek into what this neighborhood was like many, many years ago.